Second race of the BMW IBSF two-man bobsleigh World Cup. Double race weekend for two-man at Lake Placid. And on the first frozen day of winter, Brad Hall proving yet again how tough this Lake Placid track can be, crashing out in the second heat. The team unharmed. Into the top five, packed with North American sleds. Justin Olsen and Evan Weinstock in fifth position. Big starts from them through both heats, giving them contention for the medals. Easing away from Germany's Johannes Lochner, who had pulled his way up the order. Chris Spring, one of two Canadian sleds in the top five. With Jesse Lumsden behind him. He was 900 out of the medals. Could he work his way in? The answer, no. He drifted away. Justin Olsen moving closer to the silverware. Silver medalist in the first race of the season the day before was Nick Cunningham with Ryan Bailey, double silver medal sprinter from the London Games behind him. But they slipped behind Justin Olsen as well. They would be in second position as they got to the finish line as a chance to stay in the medals eluded Cunningham. With two sleds still to go, Justin Olsen the leader. Justin Cripps of Canada has also had good results on the Lake Placid track. Only 500s off the lead in the first heat. Could he emulate teammate Kaylee Humphreys and win? He took the lead from Justin Olsen. With one sled remaining, there would be no American clean sweep of the podium. For Team USA, a big day potentially for Cody Baskew. He admitted to not have had much sleep from the night before. And he and his teammate Sam McGuffey, who won the previous year behind the late great Steve Holcomb, blew the field away. Fastest on both runs, Cody Baskew taking his first ever race win. A hugely emotional day from the youngster from Whitehall, New York. He takes victory on his home track in Lake Placid and he is the World Cup points leader. What a day for Team USA. What a day for Cody Baskew. And what a day in the memory of Steve Holcomb, their teammate.